Hi, this is Lion Sean Foray. This is Lion Keith Pinnell. And uh, we're going to present to you Lions of Tomorrow. Uh, we gave this presentation at the 2012 Leadership Development Seminar for District 8S here in uh, New Orleans, Louisiana. And uh, we thought that this would be helpful to not only Lions in our district, but in other districts as well. So uh, we're going to show you a little bit about what you can do uh, with regards to technology in uh, and using it for your Lions Club. Um, far, yeah, and it'll basically cover all your paperwork reports for Lions International, your local club business, your minutes, your stuff like that. Uh, how to address social media through your uh, clubs, and uh, we'd like to review it for you. All right, so uh, for starters, there's lionsclubs.org. Um, as you should be aware, this is uh, LCI's ultimate web presence. On uh, lionsclub.org, you can submit monthly club reports, um, and you are coming to the time when Lions International may actually stop receiving paper copies of reports. Uh, you know, we're seeing everything going green to where everything is done via email. A lot of people don't receive their bills uh, via the mail anymore. And, you know, we're kind of seeing in, on the forefront within the next year or two possibly that Lions International may uh, go all online yeah, for the reporting. See, I mean, just like you do in some of your major cities, you're seeing uh, publications, newspapers, stuff like that starting to stop and it's all done online now same thing here um, ordering your lines of the year awards any type of awards that you might want to give out any paperwork that you need you'll be able to go right online and take care of it no more having to send in your envelopes order stuff get it back so this will save you a lot of time in the long run as well so uh you know as uh keith had mentioned we are seeing uh paperless news media here in new orleans uh within the past week uh, the Times Picayune went to a three-day print, and uh, you know they're moving more to using things like iPads and laptops and internet-ready TVs, um, you know, tablet computers. Um, you know that that would be things like iPads and uh, Droid pads, maybe even the uh, Kindle devices. Yep. Um, you know, and we're starting to even see it with regards to Lions Club news. Uh, I'm I'm getting emails from Lions Club International on pretty much a daily, semi-daily basis, uh, given news of good things that clubs have done across the world, and you know, new edicts of the uh, the presidents, things of that nature. So, uh, you know, I'm even seeing those Lions magazines that, you know, we've all been getting in the mail for years and years and years. You know, there's a good chance that we may even see those going to a strictly website format. Yeah, and you can tell Lions International is using this a lot because, as Sean said, I'm getting quite a few emails myself. I get all types of publications and uh, uh, upcoming events. They use it to uh, spread the word about things that other people may want to be interested in. So even other online type of uh, things that other clubs are doing. So yeah, it's, it's definitely the wave of the future. Um, at this time, we're going to show you how to use Lions International's uh, website. Let's see. I have it pulled up here. Uh, in order to submit your reports, up top here you see submit reports you click there and depending on what kind of club you are uh, in my club's case we are a Lions Club not a Leo Club so we would click here at the Lions officers and I've set up an email or an account with them if you've never uh, logged in before you can simply click down here new user and they'll ask you for your member number and uh, you know uh, 
verify to make sure that you're not just uh, some kind of a computer putting in random numbers um, and once you s click submit on there you would simply set up an account and you would set it up to whatever your username you would like it to be whether it be your name or maybe you have an online handle uh, that you use you know uh, a, a cutesy name that you might have for your your email address so on and so forth so I'm gonna go ahead and log in here and I am my club secretary at this time <coughs> so I'm simply going to click continue here there is a drop down box so if you're the president if you're a member whatever authorization you have you just drop the drop down box and that'll take you to whatever your position is and the first uh, report that you need to do is your membership so you would click on membership up here and it brings up this screen select a reporting month in this case I am reporting for September and uh, this month unfortunately my club didn't add any members but we didn't uh, drop any members or transfer any members either um, if you did need to handle with uh, transferring a member in or adding a new member you would click the applicable uh, link here um, in my case my club had no membership activity so I would click this right here and my membership uh, is now updated with Lions International. Um, the next uh, portion of it would be your activities. You want to let Lions International know about your activities. So I'm going to make sure that I'm selected with September and add new. Um, with, with the report page, you can click uh, signature of activities. Maybe every month your uh, Lions Club does a food drive or sits with the elderly or uh, you know, volunteers at a library. Um, you, know, you can create a signature event by clicking Add New. Um, and you would fill out a couple spots here. And if you're not sure about any of uh, what they're looking for exactly, you can see the little question mark here and if you click on it it should tell you what exactly they're looking for right it also saves you month to month from having to go back and retype everything so that's the advantage of setting that up right so uh let's see i'm going to click cancel because i actually don't have a new activity to create but I am going to report oh. let's see oh it looks like uh, Lions, Lions International. International might be having some problems at this time so uh, we'll create an, an addendum video to show uh, how you can create how you can update your uh, reports on Lions International behind this video. We apologize for that. Yep. Um, but uh, some of the other uh, aspects there's the Lions Club app, which if uh, you have an iPhone or an iPad or a, uh, one of the Droid phones or you know a droid tablet um, you can get a Lions Club app that gives you direct connections to uh, Lions International's YouTube their Twitter uh, their Facebook the website itself um, the president's blog and you can also see some of the locations where Lions might have things uh, close to you uh, it's a real and it's a free app and I know that the Lions Clubs International have been using uh, the apps 
even for uh, USA Canada Forum and for the International Convention, they created a, a program guide. You know, uh, many of you, when you go to your, uh, you know, your multiple district conventions or to USA uh, Canada Forum, um, you know, you get a paper program that shows you the schedule of events and map of where things are going on. Um, yeah, they, they moved to using a, an iPhone application. Right. You just carry your phone with you anyway, so now you have it all right there. It's also a good way to follow projects that you would normally not attend for Lions International. You can see what's going on, like the international convention that was held in Korea this past year. A lot of people got to follow what was going on through the Lions app. There were quite a few postings that, for myself, I didn't get to go, so it was pretty neat. And if I remember correctly, weren't they showing uh, uh, live streaming, live, yep. live streaming video yep. of like when the president gave his yep the parades uh, his, stuff like that yeah. yeah. So let's see. Um, one of the big things that uh, we can't <laughs> encourage more is to get your club on the web. When we say getting your club on the web, um, you know that means get your club a website. Uh, you can get a free website um, where updating it is literally as simple as answering a few questions on a form, just like we did when we were uh, adding the uh, signature events on Lions International. Um, it you know, literally just asks you a series of questions, and you fill in with it and click Submit. And you've updated your page. Uh, You can get that actually. It's I'm pretty sure that it's through Lions Clubs International uh, E Clubhouse. Uh, If you do a a search on any of your your web browse, you know your web search engines for E Clubhouse Lions Club, and it should be the very first one to show up. or if you have someone in your club that maybe they're uh, you know a, a computer techie guy, you know such as uh, myself or Keith, um, you know maybe you could approach them and see if they might be able to help with creating a website for your club. Um, we're going to show you uh, an example of a club website here on. This is a, a private. <coughs> made uh, club website for our club University Park Lions here in Kenner Louisiana um, we're using a program called WordPress and to get a, a domain which is when you hear uh, the google.com or uh, ford.com coca-cola.com that blank.com is a domain name and since you're a nonprofit organization, you can always get, you know, uh, for example, our website is uplclions.org. And we have it forwarding over to our district uh, site where we're hosted with our district. Correct. And uh, we're using uh, WordPress, which gives you the opportunity to add simple things like a calendar here's our calendar list all of your club officers Um, you can show your fundraisers one that we recently had was a golf tournament where people were able to register and pay for their registration via um, PayPal and we're even moving more to a online uh, newsletter. It's a newsletter and advertisement and people that we we guide them towards our website, everything that they need to know is right there. And we try to post stories not only from uh, our club directly but also district news as well that may be pertinent to members of our club. Um, Another as we had mentioned, the E Clubhouse. E dash 
clubhouse.org. Oop. Yeah, I think you put a C instead of an S. And here you can, uh, I'm actually not the webmaster for this website, but for instance, you can see other e clubhouses. And here's a list of all of the Lions Clubs across the world which have websites with e clubhouse. Um, my Here's our club's e-clubhouse site. And you can see it also gives you the opportunity to do uh, things like a calendar. It has very similar uh, advantages just like our private website does. Yes. So, uh, you know, you can take advantage of this e-clubhouse where it's a free site. And you can even get your domain name and have it forward to your e-clubhouse site. Uh, that way you can put on uh, advertisements for fundraisers that your club may do be doing or even in stories within the newspaper where they discuss uh, service projects that your club has done. You can uh, have them put links to your website to where they may be able to see more pictures more uh you know a more detailed story right. about your uh your and fundraiser this is, this is or your a really project. good site because you're really advertising to other lions as well yes so, uh, you have the opportunity to see what other clubs are doing the clubs that you know members of or in your district or in your state or people you may have met at a uh, an international type function and you want to see what their clubs are doing so this is a really good website to use Um, another uh, thing very similar to eClubhouse, we had mentioned that the program that we use is WordPress. WordPress.com is actually a blog site, um, blog being an online journal. And uh, you can put your Lions Club on there. Uh, it may not have as many features being just a WordPress blog site. But you'd be surprised with some of the plugins that you can add right, you can update within that site as well. Um, one of the goals actually for the year um, what, uh, is that I get every club within my local district, District 8S, uh, to have a web presence. Again, whether it be an e-clubhouse site or a... Uh, you know, a quote unquote professional site. Um, uh, for those of y'all that are wondering, I am the uh, information technology chair for my district. So that's why I strive to get every club within my district active on the, uh, on the internet. Social networking. Um, a lot of y'all may have heard some of the, uh, the questions about social networking uh you know while you're watching television you may see uh references to things like twitter and facebook and linkedin google plus instagram every commercial you see now will lead you to one of these yes <laughs> so um, that's where you'll you'll notice it quite a bit and it's actually good though it's a good thing yeah uh what social networking is is it's using the internet to connect people with either common interests, whether it be just people who are both in Lions Club, not necessarily within the same uh, club or even the same district or state. Um, you know, you can connect with uh, old friends and current friends and see what they're doing as time, uh, you know, uh, when they may be hitting life goals like buying a house or getting a new car, maybe uh, that first you know, going on a, a great uh, trip or having a first child, right. getting married. 
Um, well, on the same note, uh, clubs and businesses can do the same with uh, these social networks to where they can connect out and people who may have interest in those clubs can uh, follow them or like them yep. um, and see some of the great projects that uh, they're doing. And you can also add your members as uh, people who can update that club social network so that everybody's updating. And as your your club shares the information using that social network, everyone can, all- everyone can see it, and it helps expand and let everyone within your community know some of the great things that Lions do on a day-to-day basis. And most of you who probably have mobile devices have used some of these programs, so it's a good way to get your club members involved. And using Facebook, especially Twitter, the more common ones, will definitely aid you in a lot of uh, getting your media out there and getting your message and a lot of your information. So social networking, to give you an idea how many people out there use social networking, Facebook alone has over 222 million users in America alone. Worldwide, over 700 million users. Twitter has over 140 million users. 20 million users are on Foursquare. 160 million are on LinkedIn. Um, you know, using social networking is becoming quickly the thing to do online. You know, Absolutely. It, because of the uh, ability to connect up with friends and uh, bands that you may have interest in or uh, companies that you uh, like to support, um, co workers things of that nature you know uh some of the large demographics uh you'll notice that i have mentioned here are 12 to 18 year olds which is perfect for leo clubs and 18 to 34 year olds so one of the things that we uh constantly hear about membership is that we need to get young new members in um mainly because you know not to talk bad about uh older people but you know a lot of the older folks they can't do uh some of the community service projects uh for instance one of the projects that my club recently did was uh building a playground a lot of the uh the younger uh members were able to help out with that project whereas some of the more elderly uh were more uh able to help out in a supportive kind of way um, so, you know, we here try and get new, uh, fresh members in social networking is the way to do that. It's also a good way to get members, not just to, yeah. you know, just to, uh, acknowledge what your clubs are doing to each other, but it's also a good way to put your club out there, advertise, and hopefully you'll pick up a member or two from there. So Facebook. As we mentioned, not only you, but your club can have a presence on Facebook. You can use that to create an event for meetings, um, do fun, uh, post about fundraisers, maybe service projects, and you can share it with all of your friends, not just your Lions Club friends, but you know, possibly your, uh, you know, your golf buddies or you know, people uh, who you're friends with that. You know, may be interested in coming to uh, a dinner that your comp- that your Lions Club is holding, or you know, uh, a golf tournament. Right. Or, we spoke about golf tournament earlier, and we know. ended up picking up several teams just by advertising on Facebook, and it got out. You know, our friends shared our tournament with their friends and their friends and their friends, and we ended up getting either three or four teams. I don't remember exactly, but we picked up quite a few mem- You know, people to play in our golf tournament just through advertising from Facebook. So it was really nice. Um, and one of the bonuses to using things like Facebook is that by sharing it with people, literally it takes the click of a button as opposed to the old time days where you would 
physically pick up the phone and call all the people in your phone book and invite you know invite them to uh an event or you know invite them to like a, a wedding membership drive a perfect example yeah How many times you had to sit and you would make sure every wedding invitation was sealed perfectly and all. now you just make a nice beautiful presentation on your uh computer and you can send it out to everyone via facebook twitter uh email so it's the way to go and with facebook some of the things you may be asking well what exactly uh besides creating a you know a reminder to show everybody when the meeting is what other things can i do well you can post pictures of your club in action you know uh you can post uh news about your club maybe uh you know your club won a, a prestigious award within your district or from lions club international maybe a member of your club uh has some big news you can use your club's facebook to let all of your members know these important you know these important details and keep everybody in the loop as to what's going on <laughs> um we're going to take a second here and show you on facebook how to create a fan page this is the university park fan page i'm going to come to my main page create a new page what you do is okay we're here on the main page and on uh, underneath here you saw where I posted, I clicked on like pages, and it shows a list of all the different pages that may be uh, interesting to me based off of some of the things that I may have mentioned that I like or what have you, uh, or similar pages to what I've, uh, what I've already liked. And you can click create your own, and in uh, the case of Alliance Club, I'd say it's safe to say it's a company or organization or institution. And we would click nonprofit organization. And you would type in your club name here. And you would click I agree with regards to this. and here it would ask you a few different things about your club and you would give a brief description as to who your club is you know maybe uh here you would mention when you meet the areas that you uh that your club supports per se right so that when people come to your page they'll know exactly uh, what type of organization you are when you meet is it something I want to attend does it work well for my schedule so it's, it's a good place to really get your information out there and here's where you would click your update a profile picture um, for instance our Lions Club we just use the Lions International logo which you can get from uh, searching on Google or if you go to the Lions website I believe within the paid mm -hmm. Somewhere you'll see uh, um, web media 
to where you can download that file. Yeah, there'll be quite a uh, few clip arts that you can choose from. So we're going to go to my actual Lions Club page, and I'll, I will close that other page uh, after this presentation. Um, here you can put... You can update your cover page or your cover, which is this large picture here. You can click change cover. You can choose from your photos or you can upload a photo. Uh, this choose from your photos would be pictures that you may have already posted onto your Lions Club page. And on a, a regular basis, you know, some of the things that you would put would be please remember to come to our CEP training meeting on Wednesday October 17th 2012 at Delta Lions home CEP is club excellence process which challenges your club to ensure that your projects in the community match the community's needs. It also helps your club make plans to excel in all facets of operation. F A S C I T S. F A S C I T S. It might be F A C S I T S. <laughs> Unfortunately, uh, we're having an issue yeah, with we, the word facets. Yes, but we'll leave that as a, a misspelling. We can always go back and correct it later. And it is posted. Everyone in our club can go when they check our site to see what's upcoming. They'll see that and hopefully no one will miss our meeting next week. Because it is an important meeting and we want everyone to know about it. It looks like it didn't post it. So. Okay. Facebook claims it posted it. See this page. now there it is and there's our update on the same note we could have posted a photo or a video and you know you can use a, a webcam if you have it attached to your computer or at right here you can create an event as we were talking about uh you know creating events for your your meetings milestones so you could say if uh Let's say your club's anniversary is this month. You click milestone and show uh, what that uh, that special milestone was. Questions. Let's say you have a poll uh, of things that you wanted to ask your your members. You know, maybe you wanted to ask your members. You know, should we? 
change meeting nights. And you can add options. Um, using uh, mobile devices, you want to make sure that all of your different members have access to your Facebook account. That way, let's say you couldn't make it to uh, a function that you had previous engagements, but, uh, you know, for instance, Lion Keith and I are in the same club. Let's say Lion Keith couldn't make it to our next, uh, our next service project, but I could. Well, with both of us having a, an iPhone, I would be able to update with a picture showing, hey, we helped out at XYZ uh, service project and show pictures of our lines there. <coughs> or if vice versa, <coughs> excuse me, if uh, vice versa, if Lion Keith could make it and I couldn't, he would be able to update. Um, and you would use with the iPhone. Uh, I know that there's a separate app called the Pages app for Facebook where you can control your uh, your Lions Club Facebook account. And you will get to use this a lot. It's a great tool. Twitter. Twitter's another uh, big social network where... Uh, what it does is it allows you to cut to the chase. You're able to give a, a brief synopsis of what happened or add a picture with a, uh, which would be attached via a link. And the thing that's special with Twitter is you're limited to only 140 characters. So each one of these letters here that you see in this, wor this sentence counts as a, a character including each space so it makes you really be direct direct and to the point, to the point. Um, using Facebook you can con uh, collect you can connect with uh, fellow clubs friends celebrities bands and companies here we have an exam a uh, couple examples of different things that you can connect with uh, at a plus K that's Ashton Kutcher uh, the movie celebrity um, at Barack Obama is uh, obviously the president of the United States at Lions Clubs Org that's Lions International yep. um, at Jimmy Buffett that would be uh, Jimmy Buffett the uh, the singer at Drew Brees that's New Orleans' uh, pride and joy quarterback at WWL TV, that's the local uh, news, one of the local news channels here in New Orleans, and at UPLC Lions, Which that's is our, club. our club. Using Twitter, one of the big things that you'll see is you'll see people using what they call hashtags, where it starts with a number sign and then a word. What that does is it helps categorize your posts. Um, you know, for instance, if you're talking about Lions Club, uh, you could use something like hashtag Lions Club uh, when you're doing your post. Um, or maybe you're trying to respond or direct a post to a certain user. You can mention at user. Uh, you know, changing in the user here for that name. username, you know, like we had saw uh, in the previous slide at A plus K if you were sending a message directly to Ashton Kutcher. Um, when people use a common hashtag, uh, it's referred to as a trending topic. Um, you know, during Lines uh, Convention, one of the big ones that you saw was uh you know hashtag lions club uh hashtag uh korea lions um you know during uh television shows a lot of the times you may see you know a certain star of the show's name trending during that time period it's uh you know a lot of people are updating using their cell phones and their mobile devices 
So they're doing it on the fly. Right. A perfect and example was the Olympics. always changing. Yeah, during the Olympics, the Olympics there was it was just a f- easy way to follow everything that was going on. You know, and that's the thing where you have people from all over the world following everyone that was there at the Olympics. So that was really neat. Here's an example of uh, of a good tweet. Having fun at hashtag Lions Club Leadership Seminar with at UPLC Lions. And at the end, you see this uh, a web address, which means that we had added a picture. And uh, when we had posted this, it was actually uh, during our leadership seminar, and it was a picture that we had posted of, I think, Lion and Keith and I uh, standing in front of our presentation about to, to give it. Um, a lot of the smartphones are integrated actually with Twitter. Now think about it. The, uh, I know within the, the iPhone applicate, uh, software, one of the things when you take a picture, uh, and you click on options with that picture, one of them is, uh, tweet this pic, um, you know, uh, with the new updates. Now one of them is to update it to Facebook. Um, so we're going to show you a quick little demonstration of, uh, what a Twitter page looks like. Um, this is what it looks like straight up when we go into the university park lions, um, profile page and your, uh, web address on Twitter is twitter.com slash your username. And you can see here some of the updates that we have uh, put with our Lions Club where we're uh, reminding people to show up to our bingo tournaments or, or our bingo games, our golf tournament. Um, you know, when the newsletter comes out, reminders about meetings. Uh, a lot of the times we'll put pictures up on our uh, Facebook, I mean on our uh, Twitter. So it's... Uh, you know, again, a real good way to see what's going on. And here I can click on home. And home actually shows some of the people that we're following right now. You can see some of the updates from Lions International here. Um, let's see. We have... Yeah, a lot of the ones that we have are from Lions International. Lions International is very active with uh, the social media networks. And here's uh, another example of the Lions Champions of Change share work. And this I can this goes actually to the Lions International blog page, and where they have pictures of the seminar that was given. Um, another one, uh, that's starting, uh, that you're starting to hear a lot of people using is called Instagram. Uh, a lot of people have dubbed it as Twitter for pictures. Uh, but I say that's quite an understatement. Uh, what it, what it is, is it's an application for a smartphone where you can take a picture and there's certain, uh, things that you can do to the picture to where it adds a special haze to it maybe. Or makes it into black and white. Right. Um, you know, it does a variety of changes to the picture to where it it looks like a classically made picture, and you can update it with uh, tags, just like on Twitter. So, for instance, you can use things like hashtag Lions Club, hashtag Lions, hashtag Nola, hashtag Community Name, hashtag Nola for those of y'all not from New Orleans. Uh, that's a shortcut for New Orleans, Louisiana. So, uh, you know, maybe you're doing a, a, char- a charity event, you know, to where you're, for instance, at our golf tournament. You know, I put a hashtag golf. And within that description, we also mentioned, uh, you know, that it was for the University Park Line. So people may have not been going to our golf tournament that day. But when they go into Instagram and they might look up the 
you know pictures related to golf they and might really see helpful. ours right it was really helpful for members who couldn't be there and they were able to kind of follow along with what was going on and we had a great time and that was like our way of sharing it with our members linkedin um linkedin is very similar to facebook but it's uh it's as far as i am aware linkedin isn't uh you can't make a a organization page per se but uh it's a great way to uh network with other people who may have lines listed within their uh their quote unquote resume linkedin is is kind of like a giant resume website to where people with common uh who may have worked together or who have common uh career skills can connect together foursquare foursquare is a location-based social network uh again this one is for uh iphones and droids and uh you know your your mobile phones where you connect up by checking in at different places so uh for instance today i went to the grocery store uh i could check in to the grocery store and see when and uh i might be able to put a, a comment um for instance here in this little picture it may be hard to read you can see where uh they checked in at a pizzeria and the people are given recommendations of pizzas to to try or uh you know maybe specials that you can mention um a good thing to do with foursquare is if you check when you check into your club meetings or you check in to service projects or uh fundraisers you can mention i'm here doing such and such lions club work and with foursquare you can connect up with you can connect it up with your twitter or your facebook so it would post that update to your uh it's going to spread it out amongst all yeah. your uh, social media avenues and one of the things that's uh interesting with foursquare is with the different check-in places that you do uh you can earn badges for instance uh you know we've we mentioned our golf tournament earlier uh you know uh keith and i are avid golfers so if you were to check in at all the different golf courses you can earn a badge that's related to golf um a lot of cities have ones where it's kind of like a scavenger hunt you have to go to go and visit different uh destinations in order to earn their badge um you can check in at places multiple times and the person with the most check-ins to a place they refer to them as the mayor you know kind of like uh you know you'd expect the person who's checked in to maybe a, a dance club the most that they know a lot of the people you know they might be able to acclimate you in uh and you know introduce you to to people uh show you the you know the good places to dance or the the popular dances what have you it's really helpful during like restaurants and stuff yeah you know if you're looking for a place to go eat if you're looking for a, a specific steakhouse or something like that you can always check foursquare and one of the things that's also good with foursquare is um i know everybody's always trying to save a, a dollar there's a lot of companies that work with Foursquare to where if you check in at their place and you show them your check-in, they'll give you some kind of a discount. Free desserts. Um, yeah, free desserts, free appetizers, um, maybe a, a free cocktail or um, a free beverage, maybe a couple dollars off on something. You know, a lot of them, they give you some kind of a bonus. Uh, so, you know, even if you're looking for... You know, that, uh, that cost-conscientious way, Foursquare may be for you. Yep. Google Plus. This one's uh, pretty new as well. Um, it's very similar to Facebook to where it allows you to use your uh, Google account 
um, when you go to google.com or if you have a gmail account gmail being their uh their email service um you can connect again with friends and all of your different contacts to see uh what's going on with them and it has a lot of plugins into that site to where it has a calendar and one of the cool features which i actually got to uh try out during uh, a recent storm is uh i was able to use the hangout feature which al allows uh several people to gather together and uh do a, a video chat um this may be helpful to your club if you know maybe there's a snow in or you know in the case down here uh you know we were dealing with uh, a tropical storm or a hurricane that was coming through at the time so uh we were all kind of cooped up um it allows you to connect up with up to like 15 or 16 people at one time so it's a great little bonus to try out um let's see i will give you all a brief demonstration of google here google.com okay it sees that i'm already clocked into it so i'm going to click the plus here and here's uh my list of all my different friends uh with it being the election season you can see that a lot of people are updating information related to the elections um the hangout function is actually down here if you click more there's the hangout and you would start a hangout right here if you were uh looking to actually do an online meeting um you know one of the ways that we've also heard uh, a lot of clubs starting to go is doing online meetings um because of you know people's busy schedules it may be difficult to get everybody into the same room at the same time so using things like uh you know google hangout you can uh possibly do a, a brief board meeting or you know a small committee meeting it's also another good way which we were uh, almost forced to use it this week is if you have a board meeting and you don't have a quorum and you have something that needs to be voted on you could always have one or two or however many members uh sign on digitally and they can vote right there on a actual live broadcast even though they were unable to actually be in the building um so we're you know we've seen a lot of the social media uh ways to go about things um there's also uh besides social networking we have social media uh things like youtube uh um hulu uh google has a video section um you're seeing a lot more people going to an online medium to uh present their uh their stories and you know even to get uh get noticed um for instance the well, the, the singer one, justin bieber yep. you know he re, uh he was literally from youtube that was how he got noticed was by having a youtube channel where he was singing his songs and i guess so many people like them that it you know a and record the, company uh, or whatever picked up on him yeah it was actually usher that saw his video of him doing one of his songs and that's how he became so famous. Another one is uh, Reddit. I don't know if we addressed that one, but Reddit has become really popular. Yes. And it's basically you putting your videos of whatever you feel that's interesting. And people from all over can go in and look at it. And when they're scrolling through all the menus, they may see your video. And that's the same thing as YouTube. We both use YouTube quite a bit. Uh, especially for the music and stuff like that that we follow. And uh, Lions International has posted videos on YouTube that we've been able to watch without having to go all the way to Akron, Ohio. So it's it's a it's a really interesting media. Yeah, um, 
one of the other things that we see is that we mention here is podcasts which uh both uh lion keith and myself do uh our own podcasts and what a podcast is is it's a downloadable and streaming uh radio show uh one of the best ways that i always explain to somebody is you know you may listen to uh you know, a Rush Limbaugh or, you know, a Coast to Coast or, you know, uh, you know, any random, uh, you know, talk radio show, maybe like the morning, uh, drive time radio. How it's Stern. Yeah. You know, how often is, do you get to the location where you're going and they may be in the middle of, uh, a good story or a good joke, but you don't have time to stop. To, uh, to stay there and listen to it. Well, podcast gives you that opportunity. Uh, you can download it onto your your phone or your iPod or your uh, you know even burn it to a uh, a CD and play it in your car. Uh, and you can pause and play at your leisure. And you're seeing a lot of celebrities who are going that way. Uh, a lot of the comedians out in the uh, the world are doing uh, podcasts now. A lot of the sports uh, uh, critics are going that way. Um, movie directors are using it as a way to promote their shows, and you know even some of the video, some of the podcasts have video involved, and it's you know almost like a television show, completely online. Um, and they're using things like YouTube or just their own website to get that out to the world. Um, Lion Keith mentioned uh, that the Lions do uh, have several videos. We'll give you a quick little example of the Lions videos. International had a uh, rocking the vest video made for them and their way of getting it out to all the clubs around the world actually was by putting it on YouTube so that anyone can go and access it whenever they like. And so he's going to play that video for you now. I'm not going to tie up an entire uh, video or, you know, this entire video showing the rock and the vest video here. But you can see that it uh, it was a way that a local Lions club uh, with a variety of members were able to promote what they're doing. And, you know, it uh, got that young uh, lion who may have an interest in, uh, in rapping and singing. Uh, to help create an actual uh, video and use some of his talents to promote lionism. And as you can see, it has over 100,000 uh, visits uh, so far. And this was posted uh, just about a year ago. But that's pretty impressive. You can uh, subscribe to the Lions Club's channel. Um, I'll flip back one more time right here. Um, you can see subscribed here. Uh, if I hadn't subscribed to them already, I could click subscribe. You can see that it was put out by Lions Clubs International. And here's their actual page on YouTube. And you can see that they have a wide variety of videos showing... You know, uh, it looks like one of the uh, things that we discussed earlier, creating uh, your videos, you know, creating your, your reports yep. Membership is reporting. shown as a, a demo right here. Um, it looks like uh, with the new site, a lot of that is the training.
Um, so we had mentioned meetings. Uh, we had mentioned using the Google Hangout for uh, a meeting. Well, uh, you know, we're seeing it more and more popular where meetings are being held with n- nobody in the same room. Uh, I know a lot of the times at my work, we'll use uh, conference calling and using uh, programs like GoToMeeting where multiple people will connect up and be able to see a presentation like we're showing you here. Um, people use Skype uh, to connect up. In fact, during the planning of this initial uh, presentation, Lion, Keith, and I, we went over the entire presentation via a Skype meeting. Correct. And he was able to see the screen and make recommendations of changes right then and there. Um, another one that you can get is talk shoe, which allows you to have a phone call line in that you can call and you can conference everybody together and you can even record it. So if your secretary needs it for notes later on, um, and last but not least, people are using just straight up Facebook and even email for their meetings. Um, you know, kind of like you hear, you heard back in the day, people playing chess via the mail, the same kind of thing can kind of happen via email because you don't have as long of a delay waiting for that letter to arrive. You can, you know, possibly get everything accomplished in the course of a day, uh, with having a meeting. You just need to make sure that your members are aware that they need to check their email if you're planning on doing some kind of a remote meeting like that (laughs) um using the social networks and your email and your website you can keep your club informed uh not only can you keep your club informed but keep your community informed Mm -hmm. um and you can use it to promote your club's activities spread the good word of lionism and stay in touch with old friends At the uh, presentation or at our seminar, we were we had at this time left it open for questions, um, and you can uh, get this presentation for download on adaslions dot org, and uh, we'll also have copies of our presentation handouts that we used at our seminar, and this will also be up on YouTube, which uh, is more than likely. Uh, where you're watching this yep so we hope you enjoyed it and hopefully some of this information will help you guide you around the uh lions websites and maybe allow you that when you start your own website you'll kind of have a little foot in the door as to what to do and where to go so hopefully you'll enjoy it thank you for tuning in with us